Greetings, I'm Neon Slice, and today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on why you should play Alan Wake and what I think about it. In simple words, Alan Wake is an amazing game. If you're a fan of survival horror games, you have to try it. This game has a deep narrative, an immersive world that just makes you want to keep going to find out more about the story and what's going on with its world. I personally was not a fan of the first game. In fact, I think it's one of my least favorite gameplay experiences I've had in a very long time. The storytelling was amazing though, and that is also the case with Alan Wake 2. In this video, you can see some footage of the third chapter of the game, which can be reached within your first two to three hours of gameplay, if you've been collecting stuff and exploring. Unlike the first game, the combat is actually really fun. It is much similar to the remakes of the Resident Evil series. I read two remakes in particular. Now, I hate comparing games, but it is very obvious that the developers took a tiny bit of inspiration from Resident Evil while they were developing this game. Mind you, that it's not a bad thing. I love Resident Evil and RE2 Remake was really good. This game still has its own unique vibe and feel. Alan Wake 2 is its own thing. Even though it feels familiar and it has, you know, similar things to other survival horror games. As a diehard fan of Resident Evil and Silent Hill, you will absolutely enjoy this game without feeling like it, you're playing a cheap knockoff. Something like Before you try this game, I absolutely encourage you to play through the entire first game. This story is a direct continuation to Alan Wake 1, and you will probably be very confused if you haven't played the first game first. Mind you, I've played the first game, and I'm still a bit confused, but you will most definitely enjoy this game a lot more if you have experienced the prequel. There are references to Control as well, but I haven't played that one, but I don't think it's necessary in order to enjoy the story of Alan Wake 2. Overall, I'm having a ton of fun playing this game, both as Saga and Alan Wake. Discovering clues, writing and shaping up the world as Alan, it's all very unique and exciting. The storytelling is no longer just a page of manuscript that you find randomly while walking in the dark woods, like in the first game. It is actually told in a very fun and interactive way, and I think this is exactly what the first game needed. Finding clues, solving cases, even the collectibles seem to be fun to, to collect and you get added dialogue and things added to your story as you find the secrets of this world. If you only care about the gameplay, give it a try, but don't be surprised if you're confused by the story. And I think it's worth it. It has so many unique mechanics and such a good and fun way of storytelling, which honestly makes me want to just keep going just to know what, what else I can find and just all of those things. Anyway, I don't want to ramble for too much. I don't want to say that this is like Resident Evil 4 Remake or 2 Remake. But if you enjoy those games, you will definitely see the similarities. And I think this game is its own thing, but there is something for everyone. I think if you're a, ho a, a horror game fan, you will most likely want to pick this game up, whether that's on PC or PlayStation 5 or whatever other platform that you play this in. Don't forget that if you get it on the Epic Game Store, make sure to use my creator tag, Neon Slice. I get part of the income from that so it will help me out immensely if you do anyway i hope to see you in the next video let me know what you think about this in the comments down below also this gameplay footage was run at 60 fps on max settings with maximum ray tracing so hopefully this looks really good on youtube and i hope you enjoy it thank you have a wonderful day leave a like and i'll see you next time bye bye